What's up, everybody? This is Chris, and this is my channel, Barn11970, and we got some breaking news here that I wanted to share with you, uh, and this should really just hit the nail in the coffin at this point. Um, breaking news, and you can see by this article, and I will post the link in the description below, uh, a secret list of every reporter on Hillary's payroll has just been leaked. Now, if you look down, thanks to WikiLeaks, they give information of reporters, quote unquote, that have been under her payroll. And they said it's a list of 38 reporters who attended the special dinner. The special uh, dinner, let's see. Let me read a little bit of this first. It says, thanks to the magical WikiLeaks, we now know exactly which mainstream media reporters have been completely compromised by Hillary Clinton. A new set of emails released from John Podesta, and we know all about him in this whole scandal, revealed two top secret lists of reporters getting their cues directly from Hillary. So you cannot call it paranoia anymore. You cannot call it crazy conspiracy theories. Uh, WikiLeaks has never had to retract any of their information, and um, this has got to go viral. You got to show this to people, and I, like I said, I will post the link in the description below so you can see this for yourself. But as you can see, look, the top five are ABC, and those are the names of the people. Diane Sawyer. No, these are not no-name people. All right, we got two from Bloomberg. We got two from CBS, and look, the Clinton News Network. What a surprise, they have the most. 10 through 17 are all CNN reporters, quote unquote reporters. Let's continue forward. We got the Huffington Post, MSNBC, Rachel Maddow, again, another well known person. New York Times, what a surprise. Politico, even Vox. Notice out of any of these, not one of them is Fox News. I find that interesting. I wouldn't say they're the saviors, but, you know, that at least shows that they're not on a payroll, at least on this list. Who knows? Maybe that's why they've been giving out, you know, most of the information while the others have been trying to hide it. And they say there's another part here. Along with the list of RSVPs who came, uh, also came a second list of reporters who were invited to the same dinner. Now, uh, invited doesn't, I don't know if that means if they actually showed up or not, but here's the second list. And again, we got ABC, we got more from Bloomberg, even BuzzFeed. You know how many people on the YouTube channel BuzzFeed have had problems with that um, YouTube channel saying that they do a lot of racist kind of stuff and propaganda kind of videos? Well, what a surprise. They were potentially invited uh, to be under the payroll. Whether they are or not, I can't, I'm not part of it, so I don't know. Huffington Post, and this is MSNBC, National Journal, NBC. New York Times, Politico, Reuters, Washington Post. I mean, if this doesn't get people aggravated at this point, I don't know what else will. Uh, this is disgusting. But this is American politics, ladies and gentlemen. What they do is it goes to the highest bidder. That's why you don't see poor presidents. So when they give you that whole illusionary speech in school that you know, if you work hard, you can do anything you want. You can even be president. Yeah, well, that's a nice little pipe dream because you have to have millions of dollars to be able to do it. And even then, as you could see, somebody like Donald Trump, who has millions of dollars, look what he's up against. So your uh, quote unquote news programs are bought and paid for. Now, I've been telling people about this for years. This doesn't really shock me, but it is surprising to see this kind of stuff. And I want to thank people that work for WikiLeaks or the people that expose this fraud. And if people, let's put it this way, if the American people are not done with this system after this, then we deserve everything that we get. We're going to be a laughing stock throughout the world. So this is just absolutely ridiculous. Anybody that watches any of these networks at this point, you're basically funding traders, and that's who they are. So at the very least, they should be fired. At the most, they should be imprisoned because they are trying to influence a political party. And the last I checked, that is illegal to do. But yet they're getting away with it. So I guess this is what people want in this country. I've been trying to tell people for years, we got to get out of this corrupt system. And more and more proof is coming every single day. Um, 
I'm going to leave it at there. You can check this link out yourself. I will post it in the description below. Please share this video. Please like this video. Please post it on your social networks. Please make other people that don't quote unquote believe in this stuff. I mean, eventually you got to wake up. There's too much evidence going around now that you just can't hide it anymore. I mean, you got to be in absolute denial if you can't see it at this point. Now, the one thing I will say is I cannot confirm this because I wasn't there. So, I mean, they're never going to admit that they've done it. And obviously we can't have fair trials because if we had the FBI investigate it, well, they're already under Hillary's payroll. So they aren't going to do anything. So what do we do, ladies and gentlemen? Maybe it's we the people start taking back this this government in this country before it's stolen out from underneath us and we have no voice anymore. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And don't forget your trolls in your news media spayed and neutered.